So what are we going to review now? Well, we got another special release tonight from Narragansett. Right. Just released in honor of H.P. Lovecraft, who is a, a famous horror writer from Rhode Island. I'm not sure of the years he was around. I don't want to quote that. I'm sure we're going to find out on the can. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is a first, I believe, in a series that they're doing in collaboration with Revival Brewing Company. So it's a collaboration with Narragansett and Revival, and it's in honor of H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. So let's. Get I think the, that's. Let's, I think that's a pretty awesome concept. Yeah. Let's let's, let's see get what, the can out. Let's see what they got for okay. us. You know. Let's see, we're gonna open the magic. So this can. is the first in the Lovecraft yep. series, right? Oh, and by the way, everybody out there, the man cave fridge is died. We're gonna be replacing it with a new fridge shortly. Yep. Okay. I've been out pricing them, looking around. All right, here it is. An awesome freaking label. This you is the do guy. One piece. Excuse me? Should we do one a piece or we're gonna split one? We can do one a piece or we yeah. can split one. Whatever you want to do. I have another one. Um the traditional Narragansett made on Anna, sold on Merit logo that's on all their products. And down here it says a collaboration with Revival Brewing Company. And it has a creepy picture of this HP Lovecraft uh character. I'm not a really narrow knowledgeable about could, him. Could I have one so I can look at it? Oh yeah, sure. Sure. Absolutely. There you go. It's, it's, it's kind of hard for me to like. Yep. Let me, let me take, wow. He looks like Obama. Yeah, he's a white guy, though. Yeah, but he um, looks like Obama. Somewhere on there, it listed the, the artist that did that. Anyways, I'm gonna go with the front here. We got alcohol seven percent, so this is up there. Yeah. It's an ale brewed with honey. Brewed and canned by Narragansett Brewing Company in Rochester, New York. It says. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm going to go to the back now. There's a lot of information on the back here, and I will read all this, okay? You guys ready? You can see that? Yeah, I can read all that. Wow. About H.P. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft was born in Providence, Rhode Island in 1890, the same year Narragansett Bear was founded just down the road. So they got that in common, all right? Though he toiled mostly in obscurity in small press magazines, today he is universally acclaimed as the father of modern horror. I guess like before Stephen King, you know? Artists from Stephen King to Neil Gaiman Metallica, Metallica is mentioned on here, and Guillermo del Toro cite him as direct influences. So there's a shock. Metallica has been influenced by this guy from Rhode Island here. I never knew that. Yep, there you go. Our Lovecraft series of collaborations, see it's going to be a series, a series of collaborations follows the spirit of the Chantola mythos, which invited fellow authors to write in the same shared universe of ideas. Um, there's a, I'm not sure how to pronounce this word, prologue? Pro prolude. Prolude. Yeah. Lovecraft Honey Ale is a perfect tribute to the Dark Prince of Providence, at once both familiar and out of this world, combining five pale malts, including honey, and kissed with a touch of hops for a mild herbal finish. This smooth honey ale was inspired by the space mead. Yep. So that that's quite a lot of information on that. that is, I'm looking forward to this. I hope yep. they live up to the. You know, I hope they live up to it. Yeah, that's a lot of lot going on there. Oh, I wanted to find the artist. Oh, on the side here. Let me. I just want to oh, mention the artist. It's got like a honey color. I want to let everyone out there know about the artist who did Love Crash illustration by Rhode Island artist A. J. Pagilia. Okay. Wow, that is beautiful amber color. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. a really nice color. I'm gonna have to drink this because I poured it too. You. You just got to do your smell. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, it smells like honey. It's got, it's got a really nice honey smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells really nice. I'll wait for you. I, I can't even fit. It's a 16 ounce can. Yeah. But it's such a nice foam and head on there. Look at that. Yep. That is beautiful. Amber it is color. beautiful. I'm going to give it some smell there. Yep. I can't wait to dive in. Oh, yeah. I can smell some honey. Yep. Yep. Let's go. Wow. 
That is not what I was expecting. No. It's a little on the pale ale side. It is. It, it's a little It's a little hoppy. It's hoppy. It's a mild hoppiness, but I yep. have to say, the craftsmanship in this beer... Is incredible. I have to say, you know what I mean? Yep. Like, I, I wasn't expecting it to be that this much of a craft beer. This is what it says about the hops, Kevin. It says, the five pale malts, so it is on a pale ale side, yep. including honey, and kissed with a touch of hops for a mild herbal finish. That's where we're getting yep. that hoppiness. Yeah. It, I'm really impressed with the craftsmanship of this beer. You know, I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting a Narragansett beer mm. kind of laced with different flavors. Kind of like not, the Del this, Shandy. Yes. Or this, the Autocrat uh, thing. Yes. This is not Narragansett. Like your normal, you know what I mean? No. You know what I'm saying? But this is. So we're going to see where this uh, Lovecraft thing goes. They're, they're going to make more in this series. It's going to be a series inspired by this horror author. And now I guess I got to do some reading on this guy. Yeah. I, never, I never really. I've heard of him. I knew of him. I've seen his gravestone in the Providence Journal because he's buried somewhere around here, I believe. And um, now there's a beer inspired by him. He, he's probably quite on it up there. Yeah. He's in heaven or wherever he might be in hell. Maybe he's in hell, you know, because he was into that yeah. type of thing. Right. You know, but I'm going in here. Yeah, it's good. I'm really starting to get the um, the the bitter. As you drink it, it gets it gets a little harder to drink. You know, I'm I'm definitely I'm sensing you're not a big fan. Definitely lemon in there. It's got to be lemon in there. I don't think they mentioned anything about lemon. Really? I still got some in the can. Robert E. Lee. I got to be honest with you. It's not going down very good. It, it's hard going down. It's good, though. I don't want to take anything away from it, but it's not, it's not a real big drinkable beer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you heard of mead? Mead is a honey wine. Me and Colleen had a bottle oh, yeah. of it yep. one time. It's a wine made from honey. Yep. And in here they're talking about the space mead, which was consumed by some character in one of his stories to protect him against interstellar space travel or something. So I guess that's the honey connection. It is strange, though, that uh, he was born in 1890, the same year the, the Narragansett Brewery was founded. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So that is just a, down the road. Right. And that, that's a pretty cool coincidence. Yeah. Now, did he drink Narragansett? Quite possibly, because if you figure if the brewery was started when he was born, he must have. He must have. Yeah. By the time he became an adult. Back then, I, I don't know if there was even a drinking age. Now, what's the alcohol in this? It's up there, 7%. Yeah. Yep. 7%. Yep. That's pushing pretty high. The highest beer we've ever rated was the 10%, uh, what was it? That is pretty high. That's a, yeah. That's 10%. probably what you're having trouble getting down is the alcohol, maybe. Maybe. And I, also, I think it's the paleness. Yeah. We're not, we both said it before, and we're going to say it again, we're not fans of the pale ales. Yeah, no. There's no. hundreds and hundreds of them out there, and for those of you who love pale ales, we're probably not going to be reviewing many of them, if any, because we're just not fans of it. And there's so many other varieties that we're, we'll focus on. Right, exactly. And I apologize to the yeah. fans of the pale ales. Right, exactly. And the brewers yeah. of the pale ales. Unfortunately, it's, it's just the way, you know, it's just, it's just our, our personal taste, and... Yep. Uh, that's just, you know, the way it is. Yeah, it's you know? just our palate. Yeah. yeah. We like a, a spicy, like a, you know what I mean? Like a, a aromatic, like a... I don't like being left with the, a dry, thirsty no. feeling. Because, like, my mouth is dry mm. right now. My You're mouth thirsty. is really, yeah. Yep. You know, so, I mean, it's a well-crafted beer. If you like that kind of beer. It's powerful. Yeah, it is. That's why I asked again about the alcohol content, because I got to tell you, I'm getting a little, you know, I'm, yep. I'm feeling the alcohol in that. Yep. 
Yeah, I, I'm gonna let you go first on this one. Why right. I finish off my sip here? I'm, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this and, and just. But on this and it's show, a good taste in beer. It really is. It tastes good. The color's great. You got it down. You know, I I got it down. Look at it clinging to the glass. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I give it all that, but I know what I'm gonna rate it. Go for Wait it. For you. you want me to go for it? Yeah, right. I'm still drinking. I'm giving it a four. You know what I mean? Like, I try to deduct when we do like an IPA or a hoppy beer like this, I try to deduct points for the fact that I don't like it. I try to, I try to look beyond that. Mm. You know what I mean? I try to judge it for everything else. Mm. You know? And I'm going to come in with a four and a half. Yeah. Good for you. Good yeah. for you. I, I, I you know, I, I'm going to stick with my four, but. I, I can't say I disagree with you on the on the four and a 